daybreak here in windy and cold western Oklahoma. I'm at Foss State Park near Elk City and I had quite a bit of setbacks these last three days or so. So I have three days to get home so I can be to work on time on Monday for the rest of the ride. It's a get up and go, let's get home ride. It's rock and roll. All right guys, it's about 15 minutes after sunrise. And it's about 45 degrees, which is roughly seven degrees Celsius. Thank goodness for heated gloves, which I'll be wearing in a moment. But I wanted to talk more about challenges. So at the great risk of sounding like Teague Fleury of Get Lost fame, the dude who wrote his KLR long distance, Check it out, link below, link above. You'll get what I mean. So there's been a lot of challenges over this last three or four days. And uh, 
Not the type of challenges that I've been talking about in this series that have been motivational. Frustrating challenges. Stick around because I'm going to get to some positives, so bear with me here. First, I'm in Tulsa. So I stayed here a month ago. There's a casino. There's a casino to your left and a betting horse track right behind you. And no offense at all to those who love casinos and horse tracks. I, I'm not opposed to either one of those things. They're just not my thing. And I'm at the KOA here in Tulsa, which gets kind of noisy at night because of the casino. If I had my druthers, I'd be camping out in the wilderness. That's where I'm at home. And the rain and the cold weather and I'm really gonna sound like Teague Flurry now and not having my family and friends near me has been really challenging. So two really big things happened to me within the last 24 hours to, to make it even more challenging. One, my GoPro was stolen. My GoPro session that I keep on my handlebars here. Turn my back, it was pulled out of my tank bag. And it was the only thing in my tank bag. And the other thing that happened was my debit card was compromised. Somebody in New York spent a lot of money using my debit card number. Or supposedly in New York, that's where the purchase was made. It wasn't a oh, ton of money. I mean, in all, between the GoPro and, and the, the money, I probably lost about 500 bucks, maybe a little bit more. It just feels like a violation, you know? No matter how small it is, whether it be your wallet or something as expensive as a car or a motorcycle or a bicycle or whatever, it still feels like a violation. And that's made these last couple days a little bit more challenging. I have two riding days to get home because I need to be back at work. So I'm 715 miles from home. I'm gonna motor to around the St. Louis area today and then motor home, try and motor home from there. The other thing I'll say is while this violation, this thievery has frustrated me, 99.9% .9 of the people that you will meet on a trip like this are wonderful people. Never in anything in life let the one-tenth of one percent affect your opinion of something. Sometimes we look at something and we think it's happening a lot more than it is. Nothing can be further from the truth. You know, whether that be somebody stealing something or look at the the large amount of positive things that happen in your life, or the large amount of positive things that happen in a community, and roll with that. Don't look at the negatives. Far too often, it's so much easier to look at the negatives and roll with that and think that that's the case. Like I could say right now, oh, this motorcycle trip sucked because at the tail end of it, I had a lot of cold, wind, and rain, and some stuff stolen from me. So everybody along this trip is bad, and the weather's always bad. No, you look at most of the videos in this series how excited i am how wonderful the weather is how wonderful the people that i meet are this will likely be the only video in this series where i'm talking negatively about something that's happened to me there may be a few others but this will probably be the most negative one these next two days are going to be beautiful weather and i'm going to focus on how wonderful that's going to be and the fact that i've got heated gloves to keep my hands warm along the route the other thing, yesterday I got a chance to meet and hang out with Wet Banana Moto. That was, that was wonderful. Look at his bike and see what he's done with it. Man, I'll tell you right now, no matter how many service videos on my channel that you watch, my skills and knowledge of motorcycles will never measure up to Wet Banana Moto. So if you're not subscribed to Wet Banana Moto yet, go subscribe to him. You will learn a lot from his channel. And the beauty too is he'll answer any question that you will ask him. So go over to Weapon Animoto and subscribe to him. Link below and a link above. Thanks man, I really enjoyed your company, Mike. It was, it was amazing. Uh, it's something that I needed at that moment. I'm gonna have some group rides planned, probably a camp out in Southwest Wisconsin, hoping to gather a bunch of people who are part of the community on this channel and Let's all get together and hang out. And I'm hoping Weapon Animoto can join us for that. The other positive is the Brewers start the National League Championship Series 
I am gonna enjoy the ride today, despite these challenges, despite these negatives. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good ride home. And I'm gonna be able to do 715 miles easy in two days. I'll make it home. I'll probably do about 350 today, and then 350-ish tomorrow. Thanks for your support in this channel, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. It helps out this channel a ton. If you're new here or if you've seen a few of the videos and you've enjoyed them, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That bell icon down there, that will alert you when I upload videos just like this one or the service videos or the, the philosophy on a Harley, the stories on a Harley videos, all those much more positive videos than I have on this one right now. And always guys, focus on the positive no matter how challenging the negatives are. Ride safe out there, keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video.